Hello and welcome to Hadoop exam learning resources. In this session, we are going to cover MR unit that is the testing framework for the MapReduce. So as part of this session, we will focus on the Maple testing. So let me uh, show you uh, what exactly MR unit first and uh, then we'll go one example with the, some hands-on session on uh, Maple testing. Okay, so let me clean it out the screen first. Okay, so what exactly if you are a Java developer and you might have already worked on the JUnit framework. So and on the similar concept that MR unit framework has been created. What exactly JUnit framework does? Let me explain you first. So in a short, suppose you have written some Java code. Okay, some unit like uh, let's say you have some method and you have put some logic C equals to A plus B inside this and written C. This kind of logic you have written. So using the J unit framework, what exactly you do? You provide input to this framework, uh, this code using J unit framework 1, comma 2. And what output you expected is 3. Suppose it means my uh, input is this and I'm expecting this output and after running my J in a test case if this is the output then I could say my test case has passed it means my code is correct okay so then now let's assume it uh, you pass two comma okay uh, sorry initially uh, now you pass one comma zero okay what should be my output here what should be one then test case part. but somehow while typing or you made or somebody had a mistake in the code like you in place in place of plus sign you are put multiplication sign okay so you say one comma two my i am expecting output three but it is producing as a two so my j unit test case has failed so something is wrong with this my code or my input value or somewhere something is wrong then I have to debug it and find it out either my input is wrong or I am wrong my expectation output expectation is wrong or code is wrong so this way you test it so similarly in case of map reduce framework suppose you have your map reduce job And you say I provide my file with the data as an input some URL list of the URL some strings in the lines of the code and after running this job some bad record has to be filtered out and after that the count like URL 1 has appeared 100 times URL 2 has appeared 20 times this is my expected output but somehow something has wrong in your job so using the MR unit framework you say this is my input I am expecting this output if that matches then my map list job is correct so why we do the MR unit testing uh, on the job exactly before moving your code into the production you know your map reduce job generally bad jobs correct and it runs for the hours on the cluster so the computing resources data resources time many factors comes and your job finishes in 24 hours something that's taking so long because the data volume is so long and after running 24 hours job you find it out so something goes wrong with my job my i'm expecting this output my report should be must be generated like this after running this job some analytics correct but somehow it is producing outputs like this so something is badly or something wrong so either your code is wrong your data is wrong so after running 24 hours you correct the code you retest you again putting into the production and still mistakes remain so this kind of mistakes happens correct while development so to avoid these things we have cloud has developed that framework that is called the map the mr unit framework with this you can test basic unit like your map part you want to test it you can test your reduce individual reducer you can test your whole job that is map reduce job full or even you can test the series of the jobs 
सो देर आर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ टेस्टिंग इज पॉसिबल सो एंड इवन यू कैन टेस्ट द काउंटर एज वेल ओके सो सो बिफोर पुटिंग योर कोड इन प्रोडक्शन देयर इज लाइक ऑलवेज सेफ ऑप्शन एज यू टेस्ट एज मच एज पॉसिबल टू मेक योर कोड बुलेट प्रूफ विदाउट बग so first option we say that you always use mr unit to test your logic before putting your code in production second thing if you, some things cannot be tested even using the mr unit because mr units is they are not capable of handling all the classes which is in the mr produce framework right so what you do is like you run the small job with the small data miss job with the small data before Uh, putting your code into the production so we suggest you learn the mr unit and this will help you to understand uh, in detail your uh, um, map reduce fr uh, framework so even what happens nowadays if you are preparing for the certification suppose you are preparing for ccd 410 then you know the cloud era is asking map reduce code into the exam itself like it's a lengthy paper now okay so for this you need to practice something so to practice this code without installing hadoop framework without doing any heavy setup or something you still want to learn some basic concept so you can do using the mr unit framework you just do the basic project setup in the eclipse and then start writing the logic small small logic and you can understand in depth the, the mr unit okay uh, sorry map reduce so let me bring you the example some basic mapper testing okay so how we does so let me show you some hands on session actually we do have a complete full test cases available over here but that would be available as part of our full length training only so let me show you some basic example so uh this is my mapper test package which has one mapper and it corresponding test case i'm not going to show you the reducer test and something okay so what my mapper this is my mapper code this is my test code what this test case says okay before doing going into uh, depth like whenever you have to do some mr unit testing you have to do the project setup so for to do this project setup you have to have this dependencies enabled in your map reduce framework okay so in full length training i have show you uh, we have shown you the complete detail how to do this setup and everything in the eclipse and where this complete source code is available so let me show you the basic example again so you have to set up this is the map driver class is needed for the mapper test and this this is your actual mapper class where the your ma mapper code has been written i don't we don't need to test right now on reducer part we just want to test independently my mapper how does it behave so i am saying to this mapper driver input i have provided this string like this string which is semicolon separated with the five values uh, url great work done yes some some statement which is number and what i am expecting as an output after running my mapper i am saying the counter should be like how many times this string has come in this string something a logic i have written into my mapper so this is my input as an output i am expecting this is one time has been appeared in the string that is my test case so let me go in my mapper whatever logic i have written that could be anything okay so this is the mapper class this mapper class has this map method this is basic structure of the mapper so what exactly you do you iterate the value which is from the input like this is the input this value will get it into the map part and you fetch the value part and split it by the semicolon so this is my line array has been created so this five values oh, kind of like this correct would be kept into the my line array so this five element would be in the line array and what we says if my line array first element is zero sorry zeroth element contains this string it means then counter has to be one okay so this way 
we are saying it is like this string appears in a string then increment uh, the output should be 1 as a value and a key would be the string uh, itself that matches that status. So let us go over here let me revert the changes ok. So now here we see this is the string I am expecting output this. So now just to run this test case right click run a test case what it says let us see. Okay, that's great. This test case has passed. This green means that is passed. Okay, let me change little bit over here. Now I say my input is this. I'm expecting output this as a key and one as a value. What happens here? Right. This test case has failed. What it says missing expected output. You are expecting output Hadoop exam dot com and one out of running test da. But we are getting an output as a www dot Hadoop exam dot com comma one. So this way you are saying because something has wrong in your. So if I wanted to pass this test case, what I can do? I simply remove that www dot from here or I just change hard code this value status part. Okay new text sorry okay so now you can see here if i run again this JUnit test case not passing because we have hard coded this value this is not the right way of implementing your code but i'm uh, showing you how your J mr unit framework works okay so this way you can test it. Similarly, you can test your reducer test and even we have shown here is the complete uh, job test which is in depth in detail like sorting and including with multiple input and multiple output expected. Um, this is the mapper simple code but reducer has complex logic over here how to sorting happens here yeah, this all things happen. So in the map reduce framework if you see uh, like uh, there is a mapper phase correct and there is a reducer phase in between some shuffle and sorting happen so how map MR unit handle this part if I wanted to test my whole job so MR unit has written some multi threading code here and they do internally some sorting and shuffling so you don't have to worry about it so that is the why that's why i'm saying even without installing the hadoop framework you can practice map reduce code as much as possible in detail so we have shown like how to implement join using the map reduce framework and we have done this just simple example using the this mr unit framework we don't even need the full hadoop map reduce framework so that's all about the MR unit. So in depth, if you wanted to know complete detail about MR unit framework, so this is the module 21 or from the Hadoop exam dot com. From www dot Hadoop exam dot com. We have given complete in depth to 48 minutes tutorial on this you can visit there and uh, yeah also we have uh, started uh, our new service from the hadoop exam.com that is uh, let me go to the website i will show you this is the job service okay we have recently started if you are looking for a job in the big data world then please send your resume we support globally not only in india it's like from wherever you are you can just forward your resume uh, because companies are in touch with us uh, to get the good resource on the uh, Hadoop framework uh, oh, sorry on big data and also we are in contact with the company if your company is looking for the Hadoop resources then also please contact us we will help you to get in yes we have almost 12,000 plus profiles with the big data which is uh, fastest growing domain uh, nowadays and uh, so please send us your profile and keep visiting hadoopexam.com we are always doing uh, new new things with the big data okay 
so please keep in touch with us we will help you to get this job and if you wanted to know recently listed job just click over your big data job it will show you all the jobs which are listed over on our websites which we every day update it or we whenever we get from somewhere information we update it so these are the jobs which you can search it and for apply for it or you can just send a resume by saying this for this job you are applying so thanks thanks for listening and keep visiting us and if you are preparing for the cloud era certifications and also use our material from here ccd4010 for developer uh, for administrations for uh, training which is in-depth training which is lifetime accessible all products and this is the hbase training thanks for listening